Alright, hello everyone, my name is Chef, welcome back to the Butcher's Circus, and today we have a very cool background, so it was suggested that we do a background with a jester going for an act out irrational finale, and that's exactly what we have here. So the characters are kind of covering this piece of art, but it was made by someone from the Discord server quite a while ago, like last year, like early last year I think, so it was absolute ages, but it's replicating something that actually happened in the match which was my jester went irrational and just went for a finale on the abomination corpse and the abomination corpse is right here and it was 28 damage so that's exactly what happened the image is a little bit distorted the corpse is a bit distorted over here i've noticed that but um it should uh, it should be possible to look at a little bit better once these characters go away so today we're playing against some tricks which looks like they're playing the winter plus dot team which is fine and we're playing kind of an interesting one this is like a hit squad but instead of bounty hunter i have a jester just to see how good it is i brought stabilizing tiller which i forgot to take off sadly but it uh, hopefully doesn't matter all that much they appear to not have all the trinkets, but they are champion ranks, so definitely I'm not going to underestimate them. I'm only going to punish the flagellant here because he doesn't actually have Contour of Absolution, so I think focusing him down is overall going to be a smart decision for me. After this, we're also going to drop a Bola, and if we manage to knock him back, things are going to be very, very good for us. So the DOT is definitely hurting, also that's quite a bit of stress. Uh, Rotting Trophy should make him do a bit more, but oh well. And we do not get a knockback, which is sad, but now he's down to 5 HP, which really isn't too much. He's gonna have to heal very soon. Next time he clicks, he's gonna he's gonna feel the pain, right? I could go for a stun first on the Shield Breaker. It's a bit uh, risky for sure, but maybe it works. It's a 70% chance. I'm gonna go for it. Hey, it does work. We do have Battle Ballad in this team, unlike the Hit Squad, so the accuracy problems kind of just go away. With uh, with an extra 20 accuracy, you're gonna have pretty decent hit chances, even against uh, dodge characters like Shieldbreaker and Chester. So these sorts of matchups should technically be quite good. They're gonna drop a Rejuvenating Vapors here, which is gonna keep the Flagellant alive, but not for very long, <laughs> let me tell you that much. I'm just gonna drop a Punish on him. And that's definitely bringing him down to zero, and there's no way he regens through it. So he does have Battle Bout, so he's probably gonna drop an Exsanguinate on someone, but after that Exsanguinate, considering that you have Crown of Thorns, I'm just hoping that my Sniper Shot does enough damage to bring you down to zero, and then I'll just go for a kill with the Dirk Stab and probably get it, and even if I don't, I get to go first next round anyway, and then the Flash here is just screwed, right? It's because we just have so many attacking actions. Well, my plans have been thwarted because he actually got a crit, a great heal on there, so yeah, say goodbye to your plans, Shepherd Doggy, but it's not the end of the world, we're gonna, we're still gonna go for the same strategy, we're gonna go for Dirk Sabbath, then a sniper shot. Now if we get a crit ourselves, he's still gonna be at 0 HP, and we're still gonna have a good shot at killing him. So we actually only have one finisher character here, because uh, I was supposed to bring finisher on the Arbalist, but since I didn't, mineral by the way, since I didn't, um... I only have one character with actual extra death blow chances, so if the Jester goes out, we are in a very rough spot. Of course, you can always drop Reclaim on him, just to try and keep him alive. And Reclaim on the Dodge character is quite a good combo, let me tell you that much. So, yeah, since we got a min roll on there, we're gonna go for another sniper shot. Hopefully this time we don't get a don't get a min roll. And, yeah, even if we got a min roll, it would've probably been enough. Because Crown of Thorns is just really not a good thing to deal with. I will have to say, Stabilizing Tiller helped me out a bit there, because I got extra damage from acting last, so that was definitely helpful for me. Yeah, on to getting the kill on this flagellant we go. I do not have Rain of Sorrows, but really the only chance I have at killing him is a Dirk Snap. After that, it just goes Redeem, and then, ah, then this match is going to be delayed quite a bit. I could try to stun this. Uh, oh yeah, that's 8 damage. I gotta, I gotta do something here. You actually put your flagellant in a position to be hit. Well, in that case, you have two buffs. It's quite unlikely that you do enough damage here, let's be honest, it's very unlikely, but if they get a crit, they will do enough, and I kinda don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna go for an exsanguinate here, heal myself, and uh, with this, I will have a better kill shot on the flash, because without having a confirmed kill chance, you kind of need to go for, like, one hit before to have a decently reasonable kill chance. It's kill chance that you just look at and you're like, oh yeah, that should get the kill. Like like a 75%, yeah, that should get the kill with the Dirk Stab. If it doesn't, then, you know, the Witcher Circus is just screwing you over and there's really not too much you can do about it. That happens, I guess. 
So what should I be doing here? I'm thinking maybe zealous into into Dirk's stab just to make sure that I get the kill. That that could be smart. Yeah, they only do five damage, so we're okay here. I'm gonna go zealous into Dirk's stab. Hopefully, get a hit on the treasure as well. There is that battle ballad, so yeah, we do get a hit on him. Sweet. And now that flagellant is definitely dead here. So you saw that even with um, even with the extra tankiness, this team just has enough attacking actions to kind of uh, kind of take him out. Not the extra tankiness, but even with the crit heal for uh, for 36, we've still been able to to hopefully dispose of him. Right? Yeah, 85%. Just very good shot at getting that kill, even with only having a jester. And now reinforcements have so have arrived. The jester does heal himself. But at least he took a little bit of stress. So. He might be going for the crit finale, but he's only doing 13 to 22 damage, so he definitely has to get a crit finale here. Which he does, which is gonna prolong this match. Okay, is he still marked? Or does the mark go away now? It's probably gonna go away, right? Uh, oh, nice, nice heals, very good, I like it. And the mark does indeed go away. Alright, in that case, I will go for a stun on this shield breaker just to get rid of her action, and so we don't have to deal with puncture. And after that, hopefully they click the Antiquarian first, and then it's just Sniper Shot Finale, and uh, she's gone. And with the Antiquarian gone, I'm pretty sure I can abuse the Shieldbreaker and the Chester with my Crusader, because I have a lot of accuracy and the stunts are just going to be kind of wild. That's, uh, that's our plan here. They should definitely click the Shieldbreaker, or else I'm just going to kill the Antiquarian. She's way more important than the other two characters. A bit less so in this situation because she has Rotting Trophy and not a Materia Pastus, but usually she's much more important than the other characters. So I don't go first anymore, but yeah, with this, she's just she's just screwed. I'm not even going to think twice, I'm just going to drop a Finale, even though it's kind of a waste. Because if you drop Dirk here, she just clicks, she regens, she goes to take cover, and then the match just gets prolonged way too much. But if we do this, she's gone, that corpse is gone, and uh, we have a massive advantage here with our team. So. No irrational act out finales here. I actually had an idea before I was doing this video, and it was kind of um, not a very good idea to say the least. They also failed to play to her there, that's terrible. My idea was I will play until I get an irrational act out gesture finale. But then I thought, well, you know what, that might take hours upon hours upon hours of gesture gameplay. That's probably not a very good idea, Chef. If you want to do that, you might as well do a stream. Should I do a stream? Let me know in the comments if you do want me to do a stream sometime. I, uh, I'm a bit averse to streaming. I, I usually prefer video. Streaming just takes a lot of my time. It's a big commitment. But it is fun as well, the times that, that I have streamed before. So do let me know in the comments if that's something you'd actually want to want to participate in and, and watch. So on to the second match. And this time this is going to be against an apprentice opponent. I see. Also, we still have the banner from the Surrender to Her videos. I actually quite like it. I won't, I will probably change it around eventually, but having a new banner does feel quite good. And this is an interesting team. Is this going to be... Is this going to be a leper team? I think it is. Leper with that emboldening favors. That might be what they're doing here. And Defender and all, and all the good stuff. Well, there's kind of one big problem here, which is called Crusader. I'm gonna stun them and they're gonna feel really poor. Because if you guard the Leper, I can stun the Mender Arms. If you don't guard the Leper, I'll just stun the Leper and then he's, uh, he's not having a very good time. Do I battle out here? Yeah, I definitely battle out, even though there isn't a lot of dodge. That Chester is eventually going to go solo, and I probably... No, he doesn't have solo, but he's eventually going to make his way to the front line, and I'll probably want to stun him, right? That, that does make sense. Yeah, and they do drop a bolster as well, so... Let's just go ahead and, and roll with this. So here we drop a stun, just get rid of his action. I could have waited for the revenge, and then dropped the stun, which would have made... Maybe let me do an extra one point of damage, but honestly, this is, this is fine as well. Doesn't really change too much. With this now, I'll I'll just drop a, a punish anyway. They're definitely focusing on, on making that leper strong, but I'm just gonna make sure that doesn't happen. I'm just gonna drop punishes and I'm gonna make him have a, a very bad time here. I only get 10 stress. Yeah, there's bolster there, Shep. They should really bring exotic snuff. You should really bring exotic snuff on a leper, especially if you if you wanna try and buff him up this much. Who should I hit is the question. Probably the Jester here. Ouch, by the way. <laughs> that is an ouch. This would so be a Caltrip turn, or round one would so be a Caltrip turn. Now the Jester would be dead. It's kind of why I liked, why I really like dropping Caltrips, because the Arbals often just crits for like 26 or 29. And, and I brought Stabilizing Tiller again. Like, it's helping, you know. 15 damage, 12 accuracy. Tell me another trinket that gives you that. 
Eagle Eye Talisman gives you 10 damage and 10 accuracy. This is just straight up better, even without a mark. And maybe the opponent marks himself, I don't know. But that could happen. So they have to go Defender here, which is really quite sad for them. If I go for a Punish, they will just clear it with Battlefield Medicine. But if they do that, they're not, uh, they're not buffing him up, so... That would be, that wouldn't be the end of the world. But I'm just gonna do this for now. Make her take a bit of DOT as well. Make you take a bit of DOT. So even though you're quite tanky, I'm still gonna be able to bleed you out. Especially with Spiked Bat. We're not gonna get the Curse of the Spiked Bat today. I literally have Spiked Bat. So that's 100% not gonna happen. They, they just go in Boldening Vapor, so this is definitely a punish turn. And we get a crit on it. Yeah, the Slipper is, the slipper is gonna be feeling the pain. Next round is definitely gonna be Battlefield Medicine, but is it gonna be fast enough? This is kind of the problem, because they have a good setup here. They have a good setup, they're playing it well. They had an idea in mind, but the problem with this idea is that focusing all your attention on one character usually doesn't work. They feel like they don't even have time to drop a revenge, so even though they have good damage, they don't really have those uh, those one-shots, right? So here come those stuns, and yeah, it's a 90% chance. Your base stun resistance on the labor really isn't enough. If you want to focus up and beef up a character this much, you need to at least make sure that his actions don't get removed. Because this stun right here basically removes like two actions away from you, because all your Plague Doctor has been doing is just dropping and molding vapors. If you look at it that way, right? So they are getting close to finale on me, but still far from the kill. And that is a Plague Doctor at this store here. Now, I don't have a lot of reach to get kills, let's be honest. My reach to get kills is literally just position 3 with the, with the Chester. So killing this Plague Doctor, she's going to be at this store, but she's not going to be in danger. That's what I'm trying to say here. So she's going to click. Is she going to go for a heal? That would make sense. Yeah, she's going for a heal, but I can just drop a Zealous here, right? We drop a Zealous, we just wait for our flagellant action, we don't drop it just yet, because after they Dirk Stab, they could go for some nasty stuff and, and all that, we don't we don't want to see that. But now we have a very good chance of just killing the Leper, and obviously once the Leper is gone, there's no way they can take us on, we have flagellant, we have all the good stuff. So they go for, they go for a card here, that's, that's not gonna work, I don't think. Uh, Dirk Stab is probably just gonna get the kill, should I go for it? Yeah, sure. Let's drop the Dirk Snap here. That's the 60 and that's just a GG, so that's two Ws for this team. Should I make this a one hour video? I'm actually liking liking this team quite a bit. I want to practice with it because I feel like it's good. This is the team, I don't feel like it has a name, but this is the team that Richtofen the Zombie Killer uses. So that's someone from like the very, very early days of the Witcher Circus. And they just play this with like Finisher Flagel and Finisher Crusader and they just go ham on their stuff. I don't, I don't feel like that's the smartest idea. But it is, it is what they do, and it is quite funny. So here I'm actually going to drop an Exsanguinate on the corpse. If you didn't know, I feel like... I'm pretty sure you can't miss corpses, even if you have like 50 accuracy on it. I'm pretty sure you can't hit corpses. I've never seen it happen. I don't feel like anyone has ever seen it happen. So here we just do this. We're going to drop Finale on the Chester, and let's just skip on to the end of the match. Alright, and there we go. So my opponent actually managed to get a crit Finale on my Flagel, and just took him out immediately. But that didn't matter all too much because uh, the match was kind of over at that point, even if you take away one of my characters. So we have two wins already, and we are back to Darkest One, so that's quite cool. Let's keep on rolling with this team. Should I keep the Stabilizing Tiller? Should I? Should I change it out for something else? Uh, it's just... It's just that I don't have a mark, right? <laughs> I, I don't have a mark, but I'm still running it. Should I just bring the... Um, uh, what do you call it? Eagle Eye Talisman? Yeah, I'm just gonna bring it. Like, it's a little bit less damage, a little bit less accuracy, but I have it all the time. I don't have to go last for it. So I'm just gonna do that. And honestly, with Battle Ballad, I should pretty much never miss. I'm gonna have 140 accuracy on the on the Sniper Shot, so even Shield Breakers with 50 dodge are gonna be a 90% hit chance. So the Cyborgs is gonna hurt. Yeah, and Bull is gonna hurt as well. It's, it's gonna be nutty. So on to a match number three we go, and it is gonna be... is it gonna be? It's a Darkest opponent. Nameless Darkest One opponent. Alright, let's see. Let's put this team to the test, see if it can, if it can stand up to the heat. And looks like we have a Sergi squad here, so this idea is that you kind of, <laughs> once again, you kind of have a hit squad, but instead of having any, um, instead of having a bounty hunter, you have an abomination, and it's played a, less, a little bit less like a damage team and more like a stress team, because the abomination is in position 3, so it's kind of weird, you don't really have a damage dealer, and this is definitely played like a stress team with that setup right there. 
so I have to see what I want to do here. Uh, they, yeah, this is definitely a strength team. They don't even have stuns on that. Okay, I see. Well, I'm going to drop the battle out because I like accuracy and all my characters like the accuracy as well. And we're going to see if we can make this work. This is definitely going to be rough because of the Arbol's just flaring and healing and the Abomination just... Just gonna drop those beast files over and over again, most likely. I don't really have one shots, which is really what you want to have in this matchup, or in a matchup like this. But since I don't have it, well, it, it shouldn't be the end of the world. I'm gonna stun the Crusader here, just because. Should I? Yeah, I'll just stun the Crusader here because Zealous is quite an annoying stuff, uh, an annoying thing. And since I don't have a mark, I don't really have to worry about the uh, Arbalest getting flare value, like too much flare value. Because she's just gonna flare only the stun away if, if that's what she wants to do, which is probably what she wants to do. I'm surprised they don't go for um, uh, for an actual reclaim here on the Crusader, quite surprised. Should I punish him? It's a 50 50 chance of getting the bleed. I'm gonna try it. Uh, do I get it? Oh no, that's sad. I do not get it. I really wish I did, but since I didn't, then well, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to keep going. They flare here, and I'm gonna shoot the Crusader and hopefully just get a crit. Even though the crit it's only gonna do 28. Only <laughs> gonna do 28, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. I'm very glad they don't have Block of Light here, because that would make things uh, considerably more difficult for me. So right now I can shoot them, and. Uh, will I shoot them or will I go for a stun? I'm gonna go for a stun. Six and nine. Please give me nine. I get seven. Okay, it's understandable. The reason I didn't want to shoot is because then the Arbol just heals and she heals for more and then I want my shot still. But now they're gonna have reclaim. One thing I can do though is I can go for a punish and hopefully second time's the charm, right? That's my idea. I do have plus crit chance now, so I might get a crit here. Come on. God damn it. That's unlucky. That's very unlucky. Not gonna lie. Not getting uh, not getting either of the 50-50 bleeds. I do have spiked bat for a reason. It's exactly this, but it's it looks like it's not working out so far. So here we're just gonna drop a dark snap and uh, hopefully not do five. Okay. And now after the arbals heals, we can just shoot and then go for a death blow with the dark snap. Of course, my opponent's probably gonna try and stun me, but the hit chance with the stun is not too likely. I mean, it's an eighty, but it could fail, and that's that's what counts here, right? That is what counts. But I only have one finishing character, so if they do get the stun on me, I will not have any good uh, not have any good killing shots. So it's definitely what they should go for here. Please fail. Damn. Okay. Kind of wish I had my finisher here now. Kind of wish I had my finisher, but maybe I get a 25 and win the match. Oh, I don't get a 25. Okay, that's gonna make things considerably more difficult. But maybe we still have a shot here. So they're gonna drop a Zealous, that's bringing me down to zero, but it does heal the Jester as well, so it's fine. Uh, or did it? I'm not sure if it actually healed the Jester for too much, because it hit my flash at first, right? I can click here and go for an Exsanguinate, that's gonna make things quite rough on my opponent. Unless I do 5, which would be very unfortunate. Nice crit heal for, for 48, I do appreciate my crit heals. I'm fine with just dropping an Exsanguinate here and. Uh, and, uh, and just having it be that way. After this, I'll drop Holy Lands, and then we might be okay here. So they're actually gonna go for another stun. This time on my Crusader, make sure I don't get a 40. Which, I mean, I guess, sure. And I'm just gonna pass twice, so the stun team is getting stunned. <laughs> the Abomination is just going for those Manacles like crazy. The Manacles is not a beast file, so that's good for me. I'm actually gonna drop a Punish here. They hit, do they get to bleed? Oh boy. They do get to bleed on me, which is really unfortunate. Okay, things are not looking too good here. Maybe I should have clicked the Jester first. I didn't think too much about that. I did not imagine they would drop a Punish there. So they're gonna heal there, they're gonna clear the debuff. I mean, they're gonna clear the um, the bleed as well. So now I have to drop a Finale. If, if I don't get it, it's just GG, but I had to do it because they had regen, my Jester's at zero HP. If I don't do that, I'm just losing too hard. So uh, I just have to, to drop the Finale here, sadly. This team looks good, but it definitely has some weaknesses. The Jester is getting, pun well, it's getting punished quite hard here. So they're gonna go be Spile. Double crit v Spile. Oh boy, that's gonna make things rough. That is gonna make things very, very rough for me. I'm just gonna drop um, a stun here onto the flash and just take it from there. I could be healing the Jester, but honestly I don't think that's that's the best play at this point. I feel like I just have to keep keep being aggressive. If I want to win this, if they want to shoot the Jester and go for a 25, then so be it. They're probably going to waste two actions before they actually get a kill. 
But they decide to flare here, which makes sense, I suppose. And I can just go for a shot if I want to. I could heal as well. Why do you have to get a crit, man? Why do you have to get a crit? I could just shoot there. Yeah, sure, let's do it. 18 damage, not very much. Not very much at all. After this, I'm probably just trying to focus down the flagellant, I think. Is he going to drop a reclaim? Or is he not? No, he isn't. He's just going to go punish. More crits, more damage, more disappointment. That's not how the quote goes, but it's how I'm saying it now. And yeah, here comes a punish onto, onto you as well. And now you're dropping down to 0 HP. He can heal, but after heal I hopefully have some, some damage moves to try and take him out. I don't really have one shots here, not having uh, not having like I don't know, like a leper or something. So they drop a beast vial here. I can go for a stun, it's quite likely that it works. If I go for a stun, they definitely flare. But if they flare, I shoot and potentially kill them. I just need to get a, a nice roll on it. That's kind of the idea. So I go for a stun here. They're, they're definitely going to flare if the stun applies, because if they don't, they just die, right? But even then, they're still going to drop the Death Star, so that's good. If I had WD, I could stun him twice, and that'd be fun. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, but I don't have WD. So I am going to... What am I going to do? The thing is, even if I get a crit here... They they drop the zero HP and then heal, right? And heal her for a little bit, so they're still okay even if they do that. Yeah, they drop for the zero HP. They might drop a redeem, but I'm not sure what they want to do. They probably want to go aggressive with the Exciterate, but no, they actually drop a redeem. Interesting. Well, I'm definitely going to focus the flash on down now, if I if I can. I will at least attempt it. I kind of want to move, don't want to move forward because then Beast File just kills me. But I'm just going to have to take that risk. So here comes Punish, and he's dropping down to 0 HP from the bleed. Of course, after he drops, he still has more healing, so it's not uh, the greatest thing in the world. Do I want to keep going aggressive? Yeah, well, sure, let's keep going aggressive. Let's do a 9 here, and now they have to kind of go for a heal. I will drop a, a stun, and after that they have to either clear the stun or clear the heal. Please don't get a 25. Okay, I'm alive. Do they? No, no. I'm not going to get an irrational act out finale because I already finaled, right? So that's that's not going to happen here. That's not a possibility. But we're going to go for a stun on the flagellant now. There's a chance that we don't get it, but we do get the stun, which is quite fortunate here. Quite, quite fortunate. So he's stunned and he's at 0 HP, so now you have to make a choice with this Arbals. Do you want to get rid of the stun or do you want to get rid of, the, of being at this door? That's the decision that you have to make here. So I am just going to go for a punish, which should never not drop him down to zero. And after this, I'll have one shot at getting the kill. It's going to be a 55. <laughs> I'm only going to have a 55 at getting the kill. So if I don't get it, yeah, it's it's not going to be too, too good for me, I don't think. So should I shoot here or should I just heal the Jester and keep him alive? It's going to be a 55 of getting the kill, man. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to do a min roll on this Arbalist. And now I'm gonna go for the um, for the punish. 55 do we get it? With a crit as well. My god, that's lucky. That is unbelievably lucky. If I had failed that, the flagellant could heal himself again. Even though he would only heal for 15, it would uh, be another heal and then it would be... It would be very difficult for me to win. Very, very difficult. But since we do it this way, we just get the third W. And let's go on for match number four. Alright, and on to a match number four we go. So now we're playing against Huan Hua Inzu. Hua Inzu. Maybe maybe a Chinese name, I'm not entirely sure, but oh this already looks like a terrible matchup. Okay. Well we're playing against a prot uh, a prot stress team, but there is a Hellion, so it's not the worst matchup we could have gotten. I'm gonna drop a battle bout first because she's gonna try and yop us and she's she's gonna get a debuff or two in. That's definitely a possibility here because we don't have slam, so we can't really push her to the back. We are gonna get hit with that Bulwark of Light, but we have Bleeds and we have Piercing Quarrel, so it's not the end of the world if Bulwark of Light is actually a thing here. So I'm gonna start off by probably doing a stun on, on who? Who do I want to stun here? I'm going to stun the Hellion, because I'm going to do a bit more damage on her, and I'm also going to try and punish her. So, just to take her out, because she's quite a squishy character. She's going to go Adrenaline Rush, but it only heals herself for, like, just a touch, so... You're actually going to pull my Jester. That's going to get me closer to Finale, so... <laughs> thank you. I do not mind that. I can go for the shot, or I can go for the bleed. I'm going to go for the shot first, because I don't actually have to go last to do more damage, so I'm just going to shoot, and now if you... 
if you like click your mana arms and just go bolster, I will drop a punish and the punish could kill you here. But no, they drop a bellow, so the bellow is going down. I have minus damage, so it's very unlikely that I do enough here. Maybe if I crit. No, I don't crit, so yeah, the, the Hellion is going to be alive here. I could just start off round 2 with a finale on the Hellion, but... I mean, there's three healing characters in the card. It's not the stupidest idea, let's be honest. It's definitely not the stupidest idea anyone has ever had. But it's not what I'm going to do. I don't feel like that would be considerably smart. So instead, I'm just going to click here. How much damage is this? 8 to 14. 8. <laughs> I really want to finale this occultist. It's going to be difficult, but I really want to finale him. And yeah, it's going to be even more difficult now. So they're going to go for Demon Spool. They get it with a crit, so it's, it's pretty much all he's going to move. And uh, that's not too cool, but, you know, what can you do about it? I'm just gonna go for a move forward here, and just keep on playing the match, I guess. I could drop a Harvest. There's Holy Lance as well. Should I have just dropped Finale? Let's be honest. Should I have just dropped Finale? Is there any way they kill my Flash once at the end of the match after the Hellion's gone? I don't know. Maybe, maybe you should just drop a Finale here. I can still do it. I can still do it. Let's keep that in mind. They'll just heal themselves, but... No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to go Holy Lance here. I do 7 damage. <laughs> oh, the damage debuffs. He has 40 prod with Pitfighter's own Bulwark. He's tanky. He's a tanky boy. That he is. They're going to just do a Zealous here. They get a crit on it. God damn. Yeah, my, my characters are getting attrition right here. This feels like absolute attrition. I could go for a Dirk Stab on someone. Or I could just drop a Harvest. I'm going to do a Harvest. Because it could have bled the mana arms. It doesn't, but it could have. And if it could have, it's probably worth it. My finale numbers are going up as well. That's what I want to do here. I want to buff up finale, get a kill on the hell, and then finale the occultist, and then the match is over and we get our like fourth win, I think. Fourth? Probably. So here we can just drop a punish, which somehow does four. It had two to six. That spiked bad value right there, getting that... Uh, Getting that four damage, or else we probably would, wouldn't wouldn't have gotten it. So that's very very good. They're gonna click here. They're gonna go for another self heal most likely. And after they do this, I'm probably just gonna probably just gonna holy lance because holy lance does more damage than the shot. Because if they want to heal with the with the occultist here, they could heal for a very big amount because of the plus healing skill. So if they heal for like 15 or whatever, I can still shoot them down to zero. But no, they're actually going to heal with the uh, crusader. I guess after that I'm just going to shoot them again. And if they want to heal again, then so be it. I'm getting you afflicted because of all the death stores and all the crits. <laughs> and I'm slowly buffing up my finale, which is what I want here. They can't guard because uh, their accept breaks through it. So that's not what they're going to do. How much do you heal for? Zero, 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 zero. Four. That's not a lot, honestly. That's very unlucky that you, that you roll for four. That means that I get to just drop a Dirk Snap here, and I'm going to drop another Dirk Snap by the start of next round. And that might just be the kill. It's going to be a 60% chance. Does that mean they shouldn't guard? Uh, yeah, it means they shouldn't guard. They should just fail here. It's, it's their best play. I might get an irrational finale moment here. Yeah, I might get an irrational finale because now I'm gonna go Dirk Stab. If I don't get the kill, it's it's sad, but no, I do get the kill here. Very, very good. And I might still go irrational act out finale because they're gonna have an affliction on me, and then and then you know the the fun happens, the magic happens. I might get the background moment. I think this background actually looks really good. I tried to apply a filter on it so it looked a little bit better, and I am happy with how it turned out. I am quite happy. So here goes selfish. Selfish can selfish go for any act out? I think it can. So that would be that would be good here. I'm just gonna move back twice, honestly. I'm sure you do stress on me, so it's good for you, but it's it's still okay. Selfish is minus damage, so that's not the greatest. Do I get to go first? No, I don't. I will just drop a punish here. Yeah. Keep in mind that if the Man Arms is the last character alive, they can't kill the Flash one because Flash won't OP. Spike Pat, give me the value. There we go. That's Spike Pat value right there. Such a good trinket. I love it, man. I love this trinket. It's it's, it's so basic, you know, 10 damage, 20% bleed skill chance. It's <laughs> that's a surrender moment. Did they surrender? I, I I I probably would. I probably would surrender after after a double miss right there. What were the chances that they did that? They only have 90 accuracy. 90 accuracy, so it was a uh, like a 45 and a 90, and they missed both of them. That's very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But yeah, spiked path is just a basic trinket. 20% bleed skill chance and a little bit of damage. Damage usually doesn't matter too much. You'd rather much rather have like five accuracy on this, I think. But it just it just works because you have bleeds on all your offensive actions, so it's something that you really like. 
Uh, if I if I'm my opponent here, definitely guard, because if you don't, they're just whoop, finale on that uh, occultist, and he's gone. Why are they going to pass? Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? Why do people just pass out of nowhere in the start of round 5, and now they're going to go for an action? Well, what are they going to do? They're going to go for Demon's Bull, so I'm still going to finale. If my opponent passes, I will pass. Unless my opponent is, is like a... Uh, I don't know, unless you're like in a very, very intense best of five, but even then I might still pass. Uh, I don't know, I'd, I'd have to think about it. I'd, I'd probably not pass, honestly. Yeah, I usually pass in like casual matches like this, but uh, I'd, I'd, have to, I'd have to think about it for sure. So yeah, now with the cultist gone, it's only your men at arms and your crusader. You can keep your crusader alive for quite a while with defender and the defensive trinkets that he has. But eventually I'm going to get punishes on you, and eventually things are going to feel very rough. I could go for a flare here, but I'm, I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm just going to move back and and drop a punish, because punish here, even with minus 80% damage, it's still great. It's doing stress, it's doing bleed, it's it's good. So one damage, does it get to bleed? It doesn't. One damage, ten stress. <laughs> the best ability in the Butcher Circus. I really don't think my opponent can win here. I mean, maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance if my if my crusader goes irrational right now or something, but no, he dodges again. He he dodges that uh, that cells again. Very unfortunate of you not to have that um, uh, not to have that. How do you call it? The writ of execution. Writ of execution would really help my opponent out here with those cells, but since they don't have it, well, things are going to be rough. This is definitely a flare turn. There's way too many debuffs. There's days on my chest, so I really hate dazes. So I'm just going to click here and I'm going to do it. So I go fearful, so my opponent doesn't surrender immediately. If I had gone, like, any virtue, my opponent would have just surrendered on the spot. So that would be that would be good, but such is not the way of the Witcher Sex, at least not today. So yeah, we are going to drop a Punish here. Should do an okay-ish amount of damage, right? Let's see, how much damage does Punish do? 4 to 8, crit 11. Good, that's very likely a bleed. Yes, there we go. Bleeding Crusaders with the Spiked Bat. Bleeding Crusaders. And the Dirk Snap, and now the Crusaders down to zero, so he's just gonna die to, uh, to whatever comes next. I don't know why my opponent isn't surrendering, I really don't, because they definitely don't have a chance anymore. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. They definitely do not have a chance. Literally, all my characters could die now apart from the Flashbot, and I would probably still win. Probably. No, no, not a confirmed chance, but... But uh, probably. I actually just died there. I, I didn't think I would have 30 horror on me. I thought I only had like 10 by this point, but I should have gone for a heal to crusade instead. But it, it doesn't matter. I'm giving my opponent prestige points, okay? I don't think they have all the trinkets. <laughs> it's what I am doing here. So I'm gonna drop a double stun on them, which is just how the Witcher Circus is sometimes. And here we go for a punish into a Dirk Sap. So the Dirk Sap has a better kill shot. I don't want to fail the kill. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm just gonna be happy. So we're gonna skip on to the end of the match, because it might take a while until we actually kill the semi if my opponent doesn't surrender. So I have figured out the reason my opponent is still playing, and that reason is actually because they have Retribution on this man at arms, so they're hoping that my flagellant uh, might just die after, you know, whatever happens. So I'm gonna keep playing this, because if I get very unlucky, I could still lose this. It's, it's, <laughs> it's very unlucky if I do, but... There is still a chance that I that I do still lose this, but now with the men that I'm stunned, it's uh, it's going to be way more difficult, way 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 more difficult. So yeah, I'm just going to keep applying bleed. You pretty much can't resist them, and this is slowly just going to be over because I got the stun after the round of repulse, and now it's a surrender. So GG to my opponent. Let's go on for the next one. Okay, we're going to be playing against Miss Grace for this match number five. So it is a champion opponent, quite a. Kind of a nice banner, I don't really like the, the, the thing at the top, but still an okay banner. And it looks like they have a Mark team with a Vestal and a Flatulent in the same thing. That's such an interesting team here. I like it. It's not a setup that you usually see. You see this with Crusader and not Flatulent. With Flatulent it's gonna have more DOT, but it's not gonna have the stuns, right? It's not gonna have quite as many stuns. So here I'm just going to drop a battle bell, just going to give ourselves some accuracy. You want the accuracy, all, all the accuracy that you could possibly ever wish for. And we're just going to keep on going from there. We probably want to stun this bounty hunter if they don't go for the... They're probably going to stun my crusader though, that's that's what I would do if I were them. And yeah, here comes the stun on the crusader. So what we're going to do is... 
do I want to be risky? <laughs> do I want to be risky with a with a finish him? There's heart seekers, so the answer is usually no. Do not risk it. So yeah, I, sh I probably shouldn't. I could drop a claim, but if they if they just get a crit on my crusader here, they they'll just win the match because. I'll just lose way too much tempo, they're just going to do way too much damage and then we're going to be completely screwed. So now they're going to go for come Heather. The problem here is that they actually have Reign of Sorrow, so even if... Wit crushed Hemlock! So even if I drop a Reclaim, there's a chance that they still just one-shot me and then drop Reign of Sorrows, or Reign of Sorrows first and then one-shot me. And I'm just having a horrible time because my Maraclaim doesn't work, right? But I'm hoping that they fail the bleed because I have 45% bleed rest, so... And they don't get the crit either way, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna go for a sniper shot here on the bounty hunter. We're definitely focus a bounty hunter down. Uh, we're, that's definitely what we're doing here because he's the only character that really has any kill shots. So if we get him out of the match, things are gonna get way, way easier for us. They actually drop a punish on the Crusader and get the bleed on me without spiked bat. I would accept that if you had spiked bat, but you don't. You do not have it. Okay, give me a crit. Ugh. Oh, mineral. Oh, the, the bounty hunter could be in such a rough spot right now. I mean, he still is because I'm going to stun him, but they're probably going to pull me again. That's what I would do if I were them. Yeah, that's uh, that's what I would do, but uh, this is rough. This is rough. The, it, maybe if they don't get the pull, it's a 50-50. They do not have a pull trinket on their bounty hunter for some bizarre reason, but no, they do get it this time around. Okay, what do I want to do here? So I'm going to go for a weird play. I'm actually going to drop, drop a punish first, because we have to keep in mind... Ah, 5 to 10! <laughs> we have to keep in mind that they have two healing characters, so... If I just drop a Holy Lance, then they're going to drop the Fine Grace, and then... There's no way Punish would do enough damage, but I wanted to do this. Punish would do enough damage, and then we'd just be happy, but... Are you going to go for Preemptive Heal? That might be a mistake. That might be a mistake. That means that... Doing only 6 damage might not matter here, because Holy Lance can definitely do 16. Oh my god, can I please stop getting low rolls? Like, seriously? Every single action has been a low roll. I mean, I guess they they got one low roll on me. Uh, yeah, there's the crit this time around. Well, that's still that's still very greedy for them to go for the crit there, because you just used up your healing action. So now if you don't get the kill, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to go for for a self-heal and a shot at the same time. They might get a 25% death vote, which would be really, really fortunate. Do they get the bleed again? Let's see, is there justice in this round? Are they gonna get two bleeds? Okay, they don't get the bleed, that's very good. So I'm definitely gonna click here, just to make sure that I don't die. And even though this is only a 25% chance, it's still worth it, because it uh, reduces this death store resistance. It's still worth it, because if I didn't, Arbals just kills me. So I feel like there's no way you shouldn't do this. They have Sniper's Mark instead of instead of Flare, that is very interesting. I guess it works for some matchups, but still very weird. A very weird thing to do. I'm gonna drop another Punish here, because it's gonna drop this Crusader down to... I mean, this Bounty Hunter down to zero with the Bleeds, that's kind of the idea. They might go for a heal, but if they do that, I might just stun or, or do a Zells or something of the likes. Or they're gonna go aggressive. No, they are gonna go aggressive. Interesting. Well, if you want to go aggressive, I'll just heal myself, and then it's very unlikely that you do 4 damage with, uh, with Reign of Sorrows. Very, very unlikely that you do that. You need to get a crit, but even with a crit, I don't think you can, because she has base 5 prot, because that's fair, right? Very, very fair, having base 5 prot on a character like the, the Arbalus here. Hopefully that, uh, that works out for me, right? I'm really scared of this Reign of Sorrows, because if it does enough damage, it's over. Might be over, I mean, they'll have sniper shots, so it's gonna be rough, but yeah. No, they don't need us to, we're fine, we're fine, stop worrying so much, Shepard, we're fine here. Do I want to drop a Harvest, maybe, or a Dirk Snap on the Flagrant? I think Dirk Snap on the Flagrant might be the play here. And then I'll drop another Dirk Snap on the, on the Bounty Hunter, and hopefully get the kill, it's gonna be a 75. They shouldn't do two damage with the Come Hater, I'd go Caltrops if I were them, generally, because, uh... It's gonna take away at my character. I mean, I probably would have gone Caltrips round one, <laughs> because that's just how I play. I love Caltrips so much. Just the value that you get from it, it's just taking away slowly at all your opponents. It just it just feels so good. I can't say no to it. Yeah, it's so funny how that works. And yeah, they they do it. They're gonna go Caltrips. Do they get the bleed on my Crusader? Uh, they do. So that's that's good for them. That's very good for them. They do zero damage to my to my Arbol still, but it's, come hither would have also dealt zero damage. 
Uh, maybe, maybe it would have dealt here. So I'm gonna go for the exam here, 75, we take it, and now we still have the finale with four buffs, which is a huge amount. It's a scary amount, because I can nullify your last breath color trinkets almost completely if I used it. If I use my damage buffs correctly. There are 29 HP, so maybe like a punish and then finale, something like that, but keep in mind that they still have two very good healers. So they're gonna try doing that. They're gonna drop a Dazzling Light here. That's a bad play because I'm gonna flare. That's kind of a bad play, kind of not. I, I'm gonna drop a Reclaim here, which is risky because then they Reign of Sorrows and shoot me. But I'm hoping that the rain of, that they don't Reign of Sorrows, or if the Reign of Sorrows does drop, it doesn't get too many Blights or, or whatever. And if, it, if they do that, I'm still probably gonna heal myself. It should still be okay. I don't mind the Flash one going too low on HP. I'm kind of forcing them to go Reign of Sorrows and shot instead of just... Trying to focus my Jester down. If my Jester just has free reign, eventually the Flash one's gonna fall. Once the Flash one falls, we're gonna win. That's my idea here. Hopefully they don't get any more bleeds on my Crusader. This is this is kind of unfortunate, if you ask me. Oh no, they're gonna go punish. They're actually they're actually gonna do that. That's quite interesting. They fail it. Curse of the spiked bat. There we go. Finally, finally the curse of the spiked bat actually actually applies. I'm gonna drop. Do I want to drop a flare? Yeah, let's drop a flare. The thing is, if they shoot me, if I click the Crusader here, they would shoot me, and then I'm at zero, and then I heal myself. But if they shoot me now, I heal myself with the Crusader, and I heal an extra 4 HP on the Crusader, rather than just healing the Arbals for like one more point, of, or like a few more points of HP. I'd rather have a bit more HP on the Crusader than have a bit more HP on the on the Yarbles, just to make sure that he stays as far away from Death Star as possible for as long as possible. Because she's still dropping down to zero after another shot, right? She's still dropping down to zero if the if the Reign of Stars gets a bleed. I feel like I feel like this is okay. Do we heal with the Yarbles would have cleared the Caltrips? That's that's a thing to consider. It would have cleared the Caltrips, so maybe I should have done that. I'm I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I should have just healed the Crusader, sacrificed the Arbalus, maybe. Probably not the greatest idea though. They're gonna go for a stun on my Jester. They are aware that my Jester is the actual battering ram here. It's it's what's gonna destroy their team. So I'm just gonna flare because I wanna keep my action. I'm perfectly perfectly okay with this. Just taking two damage for a trade of actions, and I have more actions than you, so it's a great trade for me. Do remember to hydrate always. Even if you're not the one chatting. <laughs> and now this is gonna be a punish turn, right? Yeah, it's a punish turn. It could be a move back turn. It could be a move back turn, but it's gonna be a punish turn. Oh, is that too much? Oh, just barely. <laughs> just barely too much. Now I get a lot of damage. I see how it is. God damn it. Now they're gonna go exanginate on me. No, they go Reign of Sorrows. That's crazy. That is crazy that they actually go Reign of Stars there. Absolutely crazy. Well, that means that Finale is just a confirmed kill now. Mm, yeah, let's just drop Finale first so we don't get... Uh, so my opponent doesn't heal all the other characters. Yeah, it's a confirmed kill. I just fully deny that last Breath Dollar. If I could fire them, I definitely would have dropped the next Sanguinate there, but they were just trying to get a kill on me, which does make sense. I, don't, I literally don't have any other options here, so I'm just going to heal the... Heal the Arbalist, and now it's almost impossible for my opponent to win, because once these corpses are gone, the Flanchlant and the Crusader are just gonna absolutely trash all over these two, and they still have to kill my Jester and my Arbalist, which is just a lot easier said than done. For sure, for sure. So let's see, how are they actually playing this? They, they want to keep going, they want to keep going, they're shooting me, they're trying to get an Affliction, maybe. Is that what they're doing here? I think it is. So I'm gonna click, I'm gonna go for heal on that chance there, just get rid of the Caltrops Eva. If you wanna play, we'll play. That's perfectly fine for me. Maybe they still have a shot. You know, if they get like an affliction on the Arbals, the Arbals goes out. If they get a cell on the Crusader then, then they kind of prevent me from healing too much, like they just let me heal once. It's it's a lot of wishful thinking, let's be honest here, but you know, they, they have a daze there with the May Smash, so I probably wouldn't surrender if I were them. And they don't wanna surrender either, so I'm just gonna click the stun. And then I guess I'm gonna go for my for my flagellant action here. And what should I do? I'm, I'm just gonna punish this corpse. Uh, now I get a mineral. <laughs> what the heck? And they're not a mineral, but close. <laughs> close to one. Let's do a dark stamp here. That's definitely gonna get rid of the corpse. When did the bounty hunter die? I, I forgot already. Was it round three? I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it was round three or not, but now the vessel's in, in harm's way. Keep in mind that this team definitely has limited reach with the front line, having only Crusader and Flagellant, so 
it, it's definitely a limited reach sort of team. You you can't really reach the enemy backline. The enemy position for characters is probably going to be fine for the entire duration of the match. But then you know they're going to do they're going to go to position one. And they're, they're just going to die as well as the rest. And unless you just want to drop sniper shot after sniper shot and then just finale, that's what I did in the previous match against the occultists, right? I, I don't know why you pass here. I'm just going to pass myself. You just saved yourself from taking like seven points of damage. Once again, I pass if my opponent passes. I, I don't know why they do it. Are they are they waiting for me to just be merciful on them and drop a surrender here? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I, I want to keep my darkest one rank. I, I think that's uh, that's a normal thing to to want to keep, right? I like looking at it. I like the extra little the little flare on the on the rank thing. So here we drop a nice heal onto everyone else. I'm just gonna exsanguinate here. And wow, that's a big crit. 18 damage. Oh my god, that hurts. That freaking hurts. Spiked bad value for the win. Definitely gave me a bit more a bit more oomph on that. And this is just gonna be a harvest turn. Do I get two bleeds? Oh, that's lucky. Why do I not get two bleeds like rounds one and two? Why do I have to get two bleeds now? She's already at zero. Why does my opponent keep playing? It's over, man. Let's just skip on to the end. All right, and there we go. We take this W as well, so it's going to be five Ws for this team. I'm not sure what to call this team yet. Uh, I might call it the zombie killer, because that's kind of the person that plays it the most, Richter from the zombie killer. So yeah, this team might just be the zombie killer. I feel like that's that's a nice name. Alright, and here we go on to a match number 6, I believe. Yeah, it is a number 6. So we're playing against Morning Judas, and this is the darkest one opponent, I think. And they are playing what looks like a very, very tanky team. So we have a Flagellant with Snuff and Gauntlet. We have Men at Arms with Kite and Numbing Incense. We have Abomination with a very weird trinkets for it, for a setup like this, honestly. And we have an Antiquarian with Black Diamond Mirror Tears of the Lost. So this is really going to be the ultimate test to see if this team can actually break through this sort of E-Defense without uh, having the mark. So we still have the Eagle Eye Talisman here. So we're going to make use of that. They are they are kind of not uh, sure of what they want to do. But they just go first with the Flash ones and get a crit. Because that's how the Butcher Circus works, I guess. Well, I'm going to drop a Battle out here, even though they don't have a lot of dodge. The only real dodge they have is that Antiquarian, but I'm still going to do it because I feel like it's a good play regardless. Because you always want accuracy, you don't want to miss. And with 85 Exsanguinate Accuracy, yeah, it's not too good. So they're going to drop Peace Smile. They still have the Spike Chain, so that's good for them, but it's, it's still weird. They it doesn't. Why would you have Shattered Padlock? I don't know. It's, I mean, I guess it gives you crit chance for the for the Beast Smile and the Repulse, which is pretty good, honestly. But it still is weird to me, it still feels quite weird. So I'm gonna click here first and I'm just gonna drop a stunning blue on the flagellant, so that's gonna be a 55, and we take it. Good, good stuff. That's definitely quite helpful here. With this, I could generally just punish and maybe just try and shoot the Antiquarian, maybe threaten a finale on her and then make the men at arms not be able to guard anyone. That might be what, I, what I'm going for here, let's see. I'm gonna drop a punish first. And then I'm gonna shoot the shoot the Antiquarian, that's what I'm gonna try doing here. So here comes the Punish, and this Flatron's not gonna have his action until round 3, which is a very long time not to have your action for. Quite a long time. We're just gonna drop Rejuvenating Vapors, which is gonna kind of like eat away at my at my Punish damage, but that's okay, I'm just gonna sh do a shot here. And that's a lot of damage on your Antiquarian as well. Only have one buff yet, but uh, it's, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. Either you drop, take cover, or you or you're just gonna have a very rough time here. So I might shoot again. And yeah, let's shoot again. I have an idea here. I, I have an idea. I'm gonna shoot again. That's gonna bring her down to zero. I will drop a finale on the Antiquarian if I can, because it's her only source of infinite healing. So if I if I am able to drop a finale on her, I will. But she's probably gonna click and drop a. Um, a guard or something of the likes. I wish she would click and just drop her rejuvenating vapors and just think like, oh, you know, there's, there's no way he hits me right now, right? He doesn't have any way of hitting me. But they just drop a beast pile here. I, yeah, I do not have any way of hitting him at the moment. So it's smart of them to, to go for that. I will just drop a punish here on the flagellant, keep going aggressive there. And I have a finale on the flagellant as well. All I have to do is move back and I can drop a finale on whoever I want, so I might be doing that. Their best play right now might actually be to use Protect Me on the Flagellant to make sure that he has the uh, that he has the guard. 
or you know that he has an extra 20 prod that would really help them out here but i only have one damage buff so that would normally be 9 to 16 but against this it's probably like 8 to 14 so it's not as good as it looks definitely not as good as it looks i've already taken a lot of lights which really freaking sucks but yeah, I'm gonna move back here, and now they have to make a choice with their mana arms. Who do they want to save? Do they want to save the Antiquarian, or do they want to save the Flatswell? They want to save the Flatswell, okay, makes sense. In that case, I will take your Antiquarian. I'm, I'm perfectly okay with this. I'm not gonna think twice, I'm just gonna take her out. I have to do this if I want to get a kill. They have regen, I can't bleed the backline. They have guards here, I don't have a guard break. I have a stun, but I could fail the 50-50. If even if I get it, they still have heals, and I'm already bleeding down quite a bit. I feel like that would be a very, very bad decision by me. So they're gonna drop another beast file here, a crit. I suppose they do have that shattered padlock, so it does make sense that they're getting crits here. But it is still very annoying <laughs> to, to be getting critted by these abilities. Beast file is such a strong ability, honestly. How much are you taking? Oh, if I could zealous here, I'm, I'm gonna force you to heal. That's really good. If I wanna do that... Do I want to force him to heal? Do I want to go for a stun? I'm going to force him to heal. I feel like this is better. Because they, they have to heal because Dirk Snap just breaks through the garden and just gets at 55, right? So they might heal with an Exsanguinate or something, but this is still okay for me. Because then they waste one of their Exsanguinates. They only have five heals. It's far from infinite, so they, they have to make some decisions. Not to mention that I also have Bola, so... If they do not go for a heal here, they're, they're absolutely crazy. Like, in, in a bad way. They're, they're crazy in a bad way. They're crazy in a way that just loses them the match. Which, of course, you, you don't want that, right? So here comes the Punish, and nice bleed. Good job. I'm gonna bleed away at this man at arms. They can't clear it, because they don't have Suffer. And, yeah, no Antiquarian means that these characters don't have any infinite source of healing, so it's just just great for me. Who are they gonna Exsanguinate? Whoever you do, I'm probably gonna heal. So, yeah, they drop an Exsang... Whoa! It misses! And the Surrender. GG! Wrong character, bro. <laughs> you should have hit the Flagel. And, and that's why you don't bring Exotic Snuff. It sucks. It absolutely sucks. Wow, can you imagine missing that? What were the hit chances? Uh, well, 85 accuracy minus 4 plus 5. 86 versus 5 dodge. He missed an 81. You could have went for the 86, you know. You could have went for the 86. But yeah, that's going to be... A W for the Shepherd Doggy, so that's six wins. This is very good. Against good players as well. If we play against Darkest Champions, Veterans, all along. I think we only played against like one apprentice this entire time. So let's go on for the final match here, because it's getting close to one hour. Okay, this time we're playing against K and a bunch of numbers, and this is gonna be, I believe, uh an apprentice opponent, but they have a very aggressive team here, so who knows? It could work out well for them. They have a Houndmaster with Hound Terry and Crimson Hook and Eagle Eye Talisman, so they have Accuracy, Stress, Bleed, they have all the nasty stuff, and I really don't have too many ways of dealing with them, so this is this is actually a good idea if you wanna if you wanna break this team, I think. So I'm gonna drop a battle ballot here first. It's it's been the same opener the entire seven matches. Just drop a battle ballot first. Make sure you don't miss an 86% hit chance exsanguinate, because that sucks. Also I hope this background has been has been pleasant to to watch because I actually like it. I think it it doesn't look bad at all. Uh, the first test I did with it, it was way too bright and it just didn't fit. It feels like the circus backgrounds always have to be dark because uh, you won't see the actions and it just feels very weird to play. But I gave it like a, a Nether background, <laughs> like a Nether filter. So the the Minecraft Nether filter, you know, which looks like hell. And that's what, I, that's what I did to it, and now it works quite well, so that's, that's pretty cool. I might be focusing this abomination down. Oh, look at the stun resistance! That's that's so cool, actually. I like it. Well, I'm I'm gonna drop a stun on him anyway. Ah, uh, of course he gets a crit. Do I get a stun at least? Okay, I do, thankfully. That lasts for three rounds, by the way. Jeez, that's a, that's a big amount. I didn't know it lasted for three rounds. That's insane. Yeah, it, it doesn't make sense, though, yeah. Okay, they are gonna go for the for the Abyssal Artillery. It lasts for three rounds because if you get it on the Repulse, it's even better. If you get it on like your actual action, if you just wanna like, de you get like a transformation rage crit and then you detransform and be spile, you're only gonna have that Repulse for like the, the Repulse turn, the, the extra damage on it. So that's kind of why, why it works the way it does. I could go for a 29 here. Uh, yeah, let's go for a 29, sure. Oh, it's a 28. Whoops, sorry, my bad. Yeah, Eagle Eye Talisman. Finally, we're getting a crit on the on the Sniper Shot Arbalest. I feel like she hasn't been getting any crits at all, but, you know, we've still been having a, having a good time here. 
Uh, they got a crit on the flash one, but they didn't get a bleed anywhere. Who did he even crit? I, probably the Crusader, honestly. He's, he's not having a good time here. But yeah, now you get to drop a punish, and this is very difficult for my opponent, because they, they might have a very aggressive team, but it's not a very well-built aggressive team, I don't think, because, you know, there's no reclaim. Oh, no, there is reclaim, but they haven't dropped it. And even if they did, they they would still have a bad time here. But they're probably going to drop Stitch and Embrace now. Oh, no, they're just going to go aggressive. <laughs> just Hounds every twice. They felt all the stress that Hounds every did, and they're like, oh, yes, do it again. Do it again, do it again. It's, it's, the, it's the best thing I can do here. So now I'm just going to drop a Dirk's Sabbath. It's a 60, uh, but it does get to death. Well, that's quite good. They had an idea which wants to drop Stygian and Embrace, but if they did that, the problem is that I would just drop a Harvest and I would still probably get the kill after that. Or before I dropped the Harvest, I could just drop a Zealous and then a Harvest, and both abilities still hit the stealth character. So this team does have a decent amount of AoEs. So they drop a Punish here, which misses, they don't have any accuracy, so it makes sense. And I'm just gonna drop a, I'm just gonna drop a Punish here on the flash, or am I? No, I'm not. I'm gonna punish the corpse here. It looks weird, but I'm gonna punish the corpse because I want the corpse gone so I can actually hit these characters better. If I hit these characters better, I'm just gonna have a better match here. So here comes the pistol artillery. They don't have flashbound grimoire, so it's not the end of the world. Give me another crit 28. You can do it. You can do it. I believe in you. Another crit 28. Twice in a row. No, the sounds 13. So. Very disappointing, very disappointing, Arbalus, but you've done well so far, so I won't, I won't complain. Here comes Holy Lance, and oh, just barely, just barely not enough. Both of them very unlucky with these damage rolls, which is really quite sad. You also really need the accuracy on the Holy Lance, by the way, so Holy Lance is gonna miss like crazy if you do not have Battle Ballot. Do I get a Virtue? Do I get the Virtue? No, I get Fearful. Uh, okay, that's, that's fine, though. That's fine, I, I can live with it. I can live with it. Should I go for stun here? Sure, let's do it before things get too dicey for us. Oh, I just passed immediately with the fearful. I, you know, it's okay. There's, there's justice in this world sometimes. For the one crit that I got, my opponent can get all the crits that they want and all the passes. It's fair. <laughs> it's fair because they, they should have the novice RNG on their side right now. Let's let's be honest here. So I'm just going to drop a punish. There's really no point dropping reclaims against Hound's Airy spam. On Zeri Abyssal Artillery because it's just gonna it's just gonna break through your claims. Like your claims won't be enough. It's doing stress, it's doing damage, and uh, you won't you won't really have a, have enough on your side to kind of just counter it. At least not most of the time. Unless that you're dropping like on you're dropping it like on a grave robber with lots of dodge or something like that. So here comes a masochistic, probably the best affliction I could have gotten, because it's literally eh, no, it could hit myself at this star. But it's not gonna pass, it's not gonna do anything stupid like that, and even if it moves forward here, Dirk Stab is still a 60% chance of getting the of getting the kill on this occultist. And it's not a kill though. It is not a kill, he stays alive for a bit. It looks like this match is gonna be prolonged. Does my opponent have a winning chance here? I'm seeing a triple Hounseri, like not kill, but close. <laughs> close to kill. But oh did I get a dodge. <laughs> I'm rooting for my opponent, not myself. What are you doing, Chef? You could have a, a clean, not not record, but you can go like 7-0 in this, and uh, and I'm trying to make this 6-1. No, I'm not trying to make it 6-1, obviously, I'm trying to win. So Hopeless marks himself, very good stuff, and there goes the Dark Snap kill. You can drop a Finale there if you want to, but sometimes you have to... Oh, you could, you could have gotten an Irrational. You could have gotten an Irrational Finale there, but or a Hopeless Finale or whatever. But yeah, sadly it didn't happen. It's it, w it would be very cool. Very, very cool, but oh well. We're gonna drop a Reign of Sorrows now. Here, yeah, take your prestige point from my Crusader, but uh, now we still have our finale. I'm definitely gonna drop a heal here, just to make sure that he stays alive. I mean, the Arbalest isn't gonna stay alive, <laughs> that's for sure. But the Jester just stays alive. We might still get a hopeless finale, but uh, there's no corpse anymore. Yeah, you can see that the, <laughs> the mouth there is definitely distorted. The mouth there is so distorted. It looks, it looks kind of uncanny. But yeah, here comes the punish. Great 16. Good job, Flash. You, you hurt, man. You absolutely hurt. 
Oh, Pontish has more crit chance than Exsanguinate. That's surprising. They have, they both have the same damage. It feels like Exsanguinate does more damage. Because when you're dropping Punish, ooh, he's, she's gone. When you're dropping Punish, it's usually when your flagellant is like at uh, at like full HP, so he doesn't have damage. Well, he's not at this door. He's perfectly fine most of the time. So yeah, that's kind of why that happens. Act out finale. Oh no, act out finale. I'm just gonna finale myself here on this on this flash, Just fully deny his healing, and then just uh, they're probably gonna kill my Jester here. But there's no way that they kill my flagellant. So you can see like how actually kind of close this match was, is because this team really doesn't have anything. Thing to deal with the Hound Master just spamming Hound Harry, just gonna destroy the team. Like you can do, you can do like two sniper shots and then try to get a finale off, but that's gonna be like round three. By round three, they're probably still gonna be alive. You're gonna drop another Hound Harry round four, and look at this, There's just three Hound Harrys. If one of them crits, it just destroys everything, just shreds through your team. Not having a come hither, not having that reach to the back line is really this team's weakness. So at this point. Uh, I could be funny here and maybe give my opponent a win chance, but I'm just gonna drop the excitement and just keep my flash on the life. I could have dropped the redeem, but if they get a kill on my Jester Soviet, I really don't mind giving them an extra prestige point because they can definitely use them. I mean, look at the trinkets. They have numbing instance on the on the flash. Well, come on. So yeah, here comes the Dirk stab and uh, they might go for self heal, heal here. They might go for Hound Sari. I would Harry here just to get the, the final kill. On this, on this Jester, take the Jester out, like, the healing won't really save you at all. Are they gonna heal? No, they're gonna go Harry, there you go, that's the play. Yeah, that's the crit as well, he's so gone, look at that, just, yeah, all the stress, all the good stress. And I almost go afflicted here on the Flyers one, they almost had the win, you know, they almost had the win. But uh, it's it's definitely not gonna be enough. Once you get position one, I still have to exagonate. It's fine, it's just too broken. Sadly for, for my opponent here. They also had Flagellant, but you know, I have a Jester to counter it and uh, and you don't. But yeah. Here comes more Helm series. And I don't go quite afflicted just yet, and it's just this is just gonna be punish after punish until I finally get the kill. Maybe if you there, there is a win chance, like, it's very minimal, but no, it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. If they got a Hounds every crit, made me go afflicted, afflicted, self-hit, and then, I don't know, exsanguinate miss or, or something of the likes, maybe, maybe there was a very small chance of winning. But, oh well, that's gonna be 7-0. Hope you all enjoyed today's video, hope you all enjoyed the zombie killer team in the background, and I'll see you again another time. Cheers.